Sancho and Ramila Patel were accounting clients and had become friends. They owned numerous hotels, having started from scratch and worked their way up, obtaining a property, building it up, hiring a manager, and making them a part owner, and moving on to the next project. One day, Sancho came into my office very frustrated. I am fed up with Indian managers. Can you find me one? The list of people I would feel comfortable recommending that didn't already have a decent job is a very short one. None to be exact. However, Mark had grown disenchanted with teaching, so I approached him. Mark, Melissa, Sancho, Ramila, Mary and I all went out to dinner, an interview if you will. Sancho soon informed me he was not going to hire Mark. He said the job was not good enough for him. A few months later, Sancho was at my door again. I have found property on the Manatee River and I'm going to build another hotel. Would you like to be my partner? And Mark can be the manager. Manatee River Inns was born. Mark took a sabbatical from school and in the year 2000, planning and construction began. We got off to a rocky start. We hired a contractor that had done the best western at Highway 64. He got to level two and the inspectors stopped construction. We had to tear it all down and start over. We hired Florida store builders as a contractor and the building began to rise. We ran into difficulties along the way. There are always problems. Having enough required parking for the number of rooms was a problem. Another problem was landscaping. Manatee County required us to set back 30 feet from the river and plant indigenous to Florida plants. Another name for indigenous to Florida plants is weeds. There goes the advantage of the riverfront. We uncovered a lot of bones. Mark sent them to the University of Florida for analysis. They turned out to be a prehistoric relative to the manatee. We didn't tell anybody. That could have been a real showstopper. Convincing the restaurant division of the state of Florida that our breakfast room met their requirements was a real challenge. The area we were building in was called Rocky Bluff when I was young. We found out why when we tried to drill the elevator shaft, they almost never got it deep enough. By late August, we were trying to get completed for the Labor Day weekend. Labor Day weekend is one of the most heavily traveled days of the year. Labor Day was September the 3rd in 2001. 
That meant we needed our final inspection by Friday, August the 31st. We made it, but barely. Then 9-11 happened. All air traffic was suspended. There was absolutely no air traffic for three days. More importantly, most people who had trips planned canceled them, Mary and I included. We sold the sleep in approximately three years later. I often planned to stop in and take a look around to see what had changed. I was driving by one day earlier this year and noticed a construction fence around the property. Upon further inspection, I determined I was not going to tour the property ever again. The state of Florida purchased the property for more road right of way and it took them two days to tear down what took us almost a year to build. If I had it to do over again, would I? You betcha. Goodbye, sleep in. <laughs> <laughs>